you want me to start off? Are you, you start off? Okay, I'll start off. Go ahead. So I'm here at Bricks and Minifigures in San Ramon with Zach and Wayne from Lego Masters. They're teaching a class on motion and mechanics. Guys, what are we building today? A motorized figurine. Why don't you explain this to me like I am an eight year old? That uh, is turned from the bottom and it makes the wings move up and down and the head to move left and right. And uh, the principles that we're trying to accomplish today are mostly functional objectives. Right, but then you can also play around with the aesthetic design and make it look like some sort of creature. So today we kind of went with a mix of a penguin and a dragon. The nice thing about this is that there is no wrong answer. Like creativity, anything is possible. So hopefully you guys can see what the power of this motion mechanics frame number one is. I think that's what we're going to call it. Framework number one. So hopefully you guys can come check us out. <laughs> I love it. So the theme for today is motion number one. We're going to be teaching you how to make a simple drive shaft okay so this is the one i made right here this is strictly just to show you how it moves but we have two example pieces we have a couple of demonstration models on the tables but uh this is what we're going to be the main objective of what we're going to be trying to build today and as you can see it has a a base which turns a couple of gears at the bottom and runs a drivetrain all the way to the wings and then also to the head. So we'll follow along, just try and get all the main mechanical elements down and then after, hopefully we get through that quickly, then that that way we have more time for creativity. Obviously this is a little bit more on the technic side, but don't be afraid of the word technic. You just gotta see like, oh, so that's what it does, all right? Our expertise as LEGO Masters more is in motion and recreatability, so hopefully we'll go from there. Take a look at the example, but let's go hit the bricks, okay? <laughs> All right, now, remember, base plate, okay, that just means this one here. You have the plate, you have these one by six bricks, the axles should already be provided, and these two tan gears here, these two light tan gears, I don't know if you can see that. So walk over to the brick <laughs> We have our quarter parts over here. All right, we have like technic parts over here, technic plates, standard yeah. plates. You your pieces in the cabinet. Give yourself at least four more minutes to get all your required parts and then start building, okay? We have technic bricks, plates, and spacers. Those will really help out. If you require any assistance, we'll cover it. Um, this is pretty good, actually. So, I want you to go ahead and attach one black gear in the middle. The black gear, the black gear. It's very good. And we're half an hour in. What are your thoughts so far? Everybody's showing a lot of uh, creativity, putting together uh, our main objective of a mechanical penguin, and uh, everybody's looking good. I'm liking the fact that everyone's being proactive and showing a lot of initiative. Some are like we're going at their own pace, but some are really going full speed. So let's hope we can keep this out. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> I added a disciple. This is now the chop block mechanism. <laughs> Get to the chop block! <laughs> One minute till showtime. So after that, for those who want to present, you'll be allowed to show. Three, two, one, and bricks down. Everyone, thank you so much. I am so proud of all of you. This was not simple by any means, but you gave it your best shot, and I am very pleased with how it's all turned out. So, would anyone like to present first? Oh, we have oh, so wow. many! I call it Penguino 2000. Initially, I didn't know what to do with it, but I made it so the tail is the crane. Oh. Oh. And I even like added a little tail on feet, and so you can rotate it, and the wings will move, and the head will turn. Oh, that's very great. Thank you. And it sort of turned it into a pond with some moving stuff. Oh, there you go. Cool. And so these are actually the waves. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. You it looks look like a waterfall, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, that's, right. If, if everybody looks closely, you can actually see two ducks kind of like going in a circle oh. like this. Oh. It has been a great pleasure to spend this weekend with all of you. So everyone, if you don't mind, we have a great pile of applause for everyone who participated. It's been so fun.
I love what Mike, the owner of This Bricks and Minifigs, is doing with the community. This event was awesome, and it was great to see all the students create the engineering concept of the build and put their own spin on it. Zach and Wayne will be back in October and November for future sessions, and I'll make sure to link the signups for those in the description box below. I saw some talent out there, Zach. We might be old news at this rate. Yeah, I was say, Wayne. Happens all of us. Who's Zach and Wayne? I don't know. <laughs> hope you guys are able to check out Motion Mechanics with Zach and Wayne. I hope we can catch up with you guys again soon. Zach, do you want to show off your haul? I got myself a Mars Rover right here. Thanks to? Perseverance. Yeah, it's spelled W-A-Y-N-E. <laughs>